Hello once again Capricorn, Didici here from astrology.com.au with your monthly uh, synopsis, your forecast for the month of November 2012. I just have to repeat that again, November 2012, how, how did we get here so quickly? Have you noticed time speeding up lately? A lot of people have mentioned that to me, not just old people, in the old days it used to be the, uh, the old people, oh, Gee, time flies when you're having fun. But I raise that issue because uh, Saturn, your ruling planet, is, in ast astro talk, the principle of time. And just now we see that uh, this planet, your ruling planet, is in, it's just moved into the 11th zone of friendships. Time. Friendships. And we've had the sun moving through there for the last um, eight or nine days. Um, and this has to do with uh, personality, will, drive. So all of these principles are tying in this month in your 11th house of friendship. Time. Have you got enough time? Are you giving enough time? Do you have enough time for yourself? Are you wasting time? So these are the questions that may be uppermost in your mind just now. And uh, time management will be a key feature of your life just now over the next two and a half years. Now what that means is that you know, if you're giving time to all these different people, all these different activities, it's time to stop and ask yourself what, what, what's the value of that, what's the benefit of that to you. You have to also understand astrologically speaking that the 11th Direction. The 11th house of the horoscope is very much to do with your uh, lifelong desire. Something bit me. Uh, oh, sorry, getting distracted there. Um, your lifelong desire. So all of these things are converging. And here we see the Saturn and Sun. This is your ruling planet here. We must always counteract and balance all of these other planets. There's no point just talking about this. We need to look here, for example, at Venus. Venus right now is in the upper part of your horoscope. So that is a very, very um, welcome counteraction to these rather severe aspects of time, responsibility to others, not feeling so good. So what I can say, that's been going on for a while now, but the presence of Venus in the upper part of your horoscope is really, really nice, Capricorn. It really talks about uh, things opening up for you in your work, feeling a little more sociable. Uh, for some of you where, you, where you've had uh, pretty intense deadlines with your work, that can be finished now, or you're coming to the tail end of that, which means you can just breathe a sigh of relief and enjoy your work in the way that actually you should be enjoying it all the time, even when you've got pressure. Um, there's a real art to that. Um, the art to that, I think when we talk about time, is even if we don't actually have the time, is to forget about the time and to trust that through um, intense loving action and focus on what we're doing, time does tend to disappear. Time as well as space are simply psychological constructs. Um, yeah, I know, there's a clock and this video I'm doing will be seven or eight minutes long. I mean, we, we need to deal with time, but I think it's important for you to transcend time, to understand time, uh, having that planet of time as your principal deity, your principal ruler. These are the lessons for you, and they're converging at this point in time. We are getting awfully close to that uh, December 2012 deadline that the Mayans have been talking about. And really this has a lot to do with the transit of the solar system around the Milky Way galaxy. A 26,000 year cycle, just as the planets revolve around the sun, the sun itself revolves around the centre of the galaxy. So if you've been observant, you'll notice that everyone is scurrying about. The human race is on speed. It's in top gear just now. And I've made some observations from uh, a child. When I see ants scurrying about, I know something like a, a storm is about to, to come. So when this transit occurs 
And it is an important transit, as uh, borne out in Revelations and the, the Mayan doctrines. <clears throat> we see that the energies coming through what they call the Dark Rift, it's a perfect alignment to that central part of the galaxy, which is a hub of pure energy and uh, intensity. It's like turning the, the heat on the stove up on a, on a pot of boiling water. The particles start moving much more quickly. So the human race is moving more quickly. And like all of us, you're caught up in the slipstream with one distinct difference, Capricorn. You actually ruled by the planet which regulates time. So you have a backdoor entry into understanding this, taking full control of it and transcending time to your advantage. So I want you to focus on that this month. I know you're probably thinking, what's he talking about? I thought he was going to tell me, I'm going to meet a tall, dark, handsome man. Well, all that stuff's important, but this is more important. Because if you have control over this and you can understand the elements of nature, and you, you, you can use these elements to achieve whatever it is that you want. The person who manages time has the ability to achieve so much more in life. The magic number is 168. And as the Chinese refer to these numbers, they have distinct meanings. Number one, daily. Number six, the path. And of course, many people know that the number eight, that's your ruling number, has to do with wealth, prosperity. So the number 168 is a very magical number. I want you to focus on that number this month. 168, daily the path to wealth, riches. 168 also happens to be 24 by 7. 24 times 7 is 168. So this is none other than your 7 day week. You, me, President Obama, uh, the person in Africa, all of us. None of us have more or less time than anyone else. Understanding the principle 168. That is your theme this month from what I can see. Understanding time, transcending it. And understanding that magic number 168 to bring you the satisfaction that you're looking for. Use that power of Venus this month. Uh, as we see also, Jupiter and the Moon in the sixth house. So your work is going to get very, very busy this month. At the end of the month, we see an eclipse, and we also see a very hard aspect to the planet Neptune. And for you, these transits are particularly significant because they occur in the place of work, your work routine, your communications and your thinking mind. So again, this is all converging on this notion of uh, controlling time, understanding it, slowing it down, delving into what you're doing and uh, that's going to be your ticket to success just now, Capricorn. There's more on this if you'd like to, you know, I've been fairly thematic. Um, I'm, I'm I guess today I gave you more of a broad-based view, principle-based view of what's happening to the planets rather than a day-by-day -day analysis. If you want that, you can go to the site. But I th yeah, normally when I do the readings, I, I work more on spontaneity and uh, an intuitive process. So for you, that's what's come out today. Some of you may think, oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Then go to the website. Uh, we have daily readings, weekly readings, even a yearly reading with a lot of um, additional free psychic oracle stuff there at www.astrology.com.au. Until ne next month, here again, uh, have a good one. Take care now. Bye-bye.